who was a very brave uh, girl because her brother died as a result of my crimes. And no family should ever have to go through what her family has gone through. And there are people here today who have also suffered that same experience. But Brooke decided that she would campaign against Nardis. And so she has started a campaign, and there are many other campaigns represented here that are sending out this message into the community that knives are completely unacceptable. And we have here also Richard Taylor, and I've had the privilege of speaking at Dan Lugger Taylor's memorial service only a few days ago. And the family that has gone through so much is still campaigning right across the community, known now throughout the world, to say that we must get knives off our streets. Now, we as a government can do a number of things. We can increase the sentences uh, that are applied on people simply for carrying knives. We say that there's a presumption to prosecute if you're caught with a knife in the street. We've got fines for shops that are selling knives to young people un under 18. Uh, there are more people in prison now because they are carrying knives than there has been for many, many, many years. In the schools, we're giving educational programs a boost so that young people, even in primary schools, can know the danger of knives. But the most important thing we can do is that everybody who's concerned about knives in our community, everybody who knows the danger that knives can do, everybody who knows that some young people think it's natural or cool or it protects them to carry a knife, that we get a message across that knives are unacceptable. We're not going to have knives on our streets. We're going to protect our young people and we're going to stop the knife crime that has caused so much damage so much grief and so much anguish and so many <laughs>